Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's September the 17th and we're looking at Philippians chapter 1. Uh, my password is a little phrase in verse 27. This is a little phrase that I'll be taking with me into the day and I'll be sharing it with people I meet, family, friends, acquaintances. Verse 27 he says this, he says, let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ. Now we need to just understand that the word conversation there means our daily lives, the way we talk to people and interact with people. It's the way we live. And he says, let your life, your daily living, be as it becometh. Now that's a difficult phrase. He means let it be consistent with. Let it be in honour of. That's the idea. So let your daily life be as becometh the gospel of Jesus Christ. What a, what a thing. What a thing. That we should live our lives in a way that um, we have a true testimony to our faith and, our, and the gospel of Christ. Let me read what else he says. So that he says, whether I come to see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs, that's your life, that you stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. This little church, this beautiful little church, the church at Philippi, some of some of the most precious saints that Paul ever knew converted by his ministry it was a little church and they'd suffered persecution and they were holding on together and they were um, they were in danger of pulling apart there was at least two sisters in the church that weren't talking to each other Paul doesn't criticize them criticize them one by one he just says come on stop it now we've got to work together we've got to work together we need to strive together striving together the image there is of a, a Roman troop who are pushing forward together in the battle they're together they're united they're gonna work together and they're gonna go forward together so stand fast in one spirit striving together for the faith of the gospel and I'll read on what he says um, in nothing terrified by your adversaries which to them is an evident token of perdition but to you of salvation he said don't be frightened of your enemies don't be frightened of those that oppose you now your fearlessness will be for them a token of the fact that they're one day going to face the judgment of God. But your courage for you will be a token of the fact that you will one day be saved. Now it's, this isn't saved in the, term, in the terms of becoming a Christian. This is saved in the sense of coming through the difficulty and being saved by God from it. That's the idea. Let me read on. He says, For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for his sake, having the same conflict which you saw in me, and now here to be in me. The Christian life is a struggle. It's a struggle. And we have not only the wonderful privilege of believing in the Lord Jesus but we also have the wonderful privilege of suffering for him and that's our great treasure that's our great blessing that we might suffer for Christ and that we might um, come through the battle victorious in the end because um, of our Lord Jesus Christ so let's be encouraged and let's allow our daily lives, our daily lives, to be something that is an honour to the gospel of Jesus Christ. 
Well, God bless you. It's lovely to talk to you and look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye for now.